So hey everyone welcome back to the channel in this video we will be solving the problem floor in BST. So let's read the problem statement out. So we are given a BST which is binary search tree with an n number of nodes and a value x. So task is to find the greatest value node of the BST which is smaller than or equal to x. Note when x is smaller than the smallest node of BST then returns minus 1. For example in this BST the node which is having a value less than or equal to 87 and that is greatest among all of them is going to be 87 so our output is going to be 87 right similarly for this tree 6 8 7 and 9 and our x is 11 so what we can do we can give the output as 9 because this is a value which is smaller than or equal to x and it is greatest in the bst so that's why our output is going to be 9 now the expected time complexity for this problem is going to be order of n and the expected space complexity is going to be order of 1. So I hope you have understood the problem statement. Let's discuss this problem in more detail. So let's say this is my tree and x is going to be 87. So you can do any of the traversal techniques whether it is pre-order, post-order or in order in order to solve this problem just we will add a condition and we can solve our problem easily so what we will be doing we will be declaring a variable let's say maximum and let's say assign it a value minus one okay because in the end if we are not able to find a node with a value less than or equal to this we will be returning minus one only and also in the problem statement it is given that the value of the node can be this okay so first of all we will call on the recursion for the root node so root node's value is 2 my maximum is minus 1 so we will check if 2 is less than or equal to 87 yes it is so maximum will be updated to 2 now we will call the recursion on the left subtree first if we are doing a pre-order traversal so for 2 there is no left subtree so no need to do any recursion we will come on to the right subtree now we will check is 81 lesser than 87 yes and the maximum till now is going to be 2 it will be updated to 87 right now we will call the recursion on the left subtree first so we go on to 42 is 42 less than equal to 87 yes so we will check if maximum till now is lesser than 42 or not no our maximum till now is going to be 81 okay so this node is 81 so we will not update anything we go on the left subtree but here it doesn't have a left subtree so we don't do anything we come on to this we compare is 66 lesser than 87 yes but our maximum till now is going to be 81 so we will not update it we'll come on to 45 similar for 45 we will not update our maximum now we will go back now we come to 81 the work for the left subtree is over we go on to the right subtree is 87 less than or equal to 87 yes but our maximum till now is going to be 81 only so we will update our maximum to nothing but 87 right now we go on to 90 is 90 less than or equal to 87 no so we will not update our maximum and in the end we can return our maximum so our maximum will be 87 and this is going to be your answer right now in this what we have done we have traverse each and every node so the time complexity for this is going to be order of n right and since it's a tree problem so you will be requiring order of n space okay now you can also do one optimization like since it's a bst you know the greater value nodes will be lying on the right half okay let's say if a node value is x all the nodes having a value greater than or equal to x will lie on the right part and all the nodes having a value less than or equal to x will lie on the left part so you can iterate in this manner on this tree and you can get your answer so that will take a order of one space okay so let's say my tree is like this okay now we need to find a value which is less than or equal to 87 so it will be lying in the right half now we come on to 81 we know 87 is greater than or equal to 81 so if we go on to the right part we find a node which is 87 so that is less than or equal to 87 and in the part of traversing we will be updating our node values okay 
and in the worst case what happens if the tree is a skew tree right like it has only having a right so part so it will be having a order of n time and the space complexity since you are using only one variable it is going to be order of one so i hope you have understood the problem at any point of time if you are having a value which is having greater value than the required node let's say x so we will move in the right part if that value is going to be lesser we will move in the left part so let's do the implementation so first of all we have declared a variable answer which is equal to minus one because in the case if you are not able to find any value we will be returning nothing but minus one now while my root exists and if root state is equal to x means i need to find a value which is less than or equal to x and which is greatest so that can be only the value x right so in that case we will assign our answer to roots data and we can return answer you can directly return roots data as well from here now if x is less than roots data means we need to find that in the left subtree so we will move our root to root arrow left otherwise our right subtree will contain the values which is greater than my current x right or the current maximum till now so we will update our answer and we can move our root to right direction okay so i hope you have understood the problem if you have any doubts write it down in the comments like this video if you have understood and don't forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching